in case you're not aware of it, and I wasn't uh, until I stumbled upon it, there's some great new options for Edge on Android. To access them, all you have to do is go down to the center of the bottom of the page and click on the three dots, and you'll see it jumps up into a, a list of items. Now, if we look at them, they have a top row, but then they have a whole set of other options below that. Some highlighted, some not. And the reason they're not highlighted is because you're not on an actual website. You're just on the browser's homepage. So we're going to get started with favorites. If we click on favorites in the top left, you'll see that it comes up with a long list of favorites. And if you've been there before on the phone, it'll be there. But also, if you have this synced from your desktop, all your favorites from your desktop will be there as well. And the same thing goes for history. If you click on history, let's slide up here and click on history, you'll see every place you've been recently, whether it's here or on your desktop, uh, will be here as well. Next is downloads, and that's if you've uh, clicked on a PDF, let's say, to download like some menu or something like that, it'll be listed here uh, in your list of downloads. And you can click on it to view it again. Okay, back to the menu again, three dots at the bottom. We jump up here, and we see shopping. Well, it's gonna take you to Bing Shopping, and I didn't see any way to change this in settings. But if you find it, uh, go ahead and change it to different uh, favorite shoppings. Uh, but let's go back to the uh, menu. We're going to click on the three dots yet again. And you'll see that uh, here's all the different things here that we can do. Now, I'm not going to waste your time with the first line web search, home, new tab, new in private, add to favorites. They're all the usual stuff you're used to doing on a browser, especially on a, a desktop browser. We're going to skip down to the second line. So if I click on the find on page, it brings up a dialog box while you're on that page. And you do exactly what you would normally do anywhere else. You start typing. And if you, I'm going to type in speed. So S-P-E-E-D. And there it is. It's highlighted in the graphic overlay up top. And if I back up, oops, uh, hang on. If I go back in again, and you see up, up top, uh, let me put speed back in. If you go up top to those up and down arrows, it's one of 17. You click down you'll find uh, more occurrences on that page, just like a desktop browser. While I'm on this page, I'm going to uh, skip over the next option, which is voice search. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, change over to the desktop site so it looks like it is on the desktop. Sure enough, it gets rid of the mobile version and displays it as if it was on a desktop. And actually, since this uh, is a responsive site that reformats itself, whether you're looking at it uh, horizontally or vertically, uh, it looks just like a desktop site. So we'll go back to the desktop view in a uh, portrait orientation. And then I'll go here to the options again. And now it says, oop, now it says mobile site. Let me get up there and click on that. And it returns to the mobile display. Okay, I'm going to back up one uh, option. Go back over here and do a voice search. You don't have to use the voice search built into your system. Edge has its own. You just simply click on voice search. And then here you see... Uh, this particular option, you say speak, I'm saying uh, flowers in June. Uh, let me make sure I do it right this time. Say flowers in June, it finds uh, what I'm saying, and then it goes out and does a search based on that. Flowers that are recommended for June. So then we're going to go back to the menu again, and the next option is to download page. So let's say you're going to be offline, you can't get to the internet or whatever, you want to download this page to look at it later. You just click on the download page, and it may take a while for it to download. Eventually, it'll come up with a thing here that lets you take a look at it. So it's going to put it into a PDF form that you're going to be able to do. I'm going to go ahead and do it again just to make sure I got a copy of it. So I bring up uh, the options again. I'm going to click on download page again, and eventually we'll get a prompt. Probably get two. Uh, so next option, we're going to go back again, and we're going to say print. Now, if you have your printer set up on your phone, it'll work. Here's my office printer I have, the IP address internally for my network, and sure enough, there's a page that stripped out all the extra stuff, all the background stuff, and it'll print it to my printer. Some people do like to print stuff out. Oh, look, there's the pop-up for the download again. So I've already downloaded it, and I could click on it to uh, download it again, but it's already on my uh, system under Downloads. Okay, add to screen is exactly what it says. You click on it, it'll ask you, prompt you if you want to go ahead and add it to your uh, home page or not. And later on, you can move it somewhere else. So next we have image search. And I'm preparing a video just on image search uh, to show the options there. But here's how you quickly do it from your phone. The new video will show it both from the phone and from the desktop. 
So I bring up uh, the image search, I click on it, and uh, it'll bring up the dialog or the camera will activate, and there it is. Now I have it pointing at my mouse on my desktop, so I want to go ahead and search for this. So once I have it there, oh, by the way, at the top you can see you can have a, a barcode or not. Uh, I didn't quite do that right, so I'm going to do it again. And it's looking around the screen, it finds objects, and then it does the search, and sure enough, it finds images that match that. So if you see something somewhere you want to know more about, you can just uh, click on the image search, and it'll go out there on the Internet through your camera and find it. And by the way, if I go back into it, I can show you. You can actually zoom this into a certain section of your thing to eliminate uh, any distractions and make sure it actually gets exactly what you're trying to, trying to identify. Okay, back to the menu. We're going to go back. We're going to bring it up. And the next one down is Read Aloud. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's uh, going to go ahead and read us the web page. Simply beautiful. With an airframe that wasn't just functional. It was gorgeous. View the art. The SR-71 Blackbird. The f so the last function I'm going to cover is the Continue on PC. And that simply means that you can go down here, click on that, and it'll send a link to your computer that's online. For example, you see those two notebooks aren't online, but my dev machine is, and same with my other machine. I can also do it, continue later, and, later, and uh, the notification will be sent to those online PCs. So it sends the notification to the uh, desktop that you selected, or all the ones that uh, you wanted. And uh, if you click on the notification area in the lower right, you'll see the notification. You click on that, and it'll open the web page that you were on while you're on your phone. So there you have it. Most of the advanced options on the new Edge browser, uh, probably things you uh, weren't aware of. I wasn't. Uh, so play around, experiment. And you'll see it'll be a big help to you. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.